So, the last fell dragon shard is here, in Gradlon Temple? Yes. What's wrong, Vale? You don't look well. Did you need more time to rest? No, it's not that. But I... I have a request. Please let me go in alone. I'll destroy the shard and come right back. What? I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. Trust me. You won't want to face what's ahead. It's best that you and our friends stay here. Brother, let me spare you from this. From what? I don't understand. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> it is you, isn't it? Mother? Oh, my dear child. How I've longed to see you again. When I sensed you, I flew here as fast as my wings would carry me. It can't be. How? I've missed you so much. Don't come any closer, Divine Dragon. Or rather, corrupted Lumera. <sighs> Just when I finally had a moment with my child. I didn't expect this. I thought she would stay inside with the shard. Vale, did you do this? No, it was Papa. The rings gave him the power to create more elaborate corrupted. He took her body from Lethos as one last line of defense for the shards. You knew, didn't you? You knew this had happened to Mother. I did. I also knew that we couldn't help her. The emblems have used their miracle. They could revive one person and they chose you. There's no other way to save someone who has been corrupted. You're saying that there's no choice. We have to face her. You don't have to do anything, brother. Leave this to me. But... It's chilly out here. Why not come inside? You want to break the shard, don't you? Oh, don't worry. I won't bite. I just want to have a nice, long chat. Mother. <laughs> oh, I can scarcely believe it. Queen Lumero, in the flesh. What should we do? We have to defeat her. There's no other way, but... I don't know how I'll summon the strength. I feel conflicted myself. She was my deity. Now I have to fight her? Yeah. Souls people aren't super religious, but we loved Queen Lamera too. We can't falter. If we do, that's it. The world is doomed. Let's go. <sighs> the door. It won't open. Let me take a look. Hmm. A spell has been cast on it from inside. Curious. She invited us in. Wait. Where is Lady Vale? She didn't go inside, did she? What? No! She can't go in there all alone! Vale! Open the door! Forgive me for this. Goodness. Did you come to see me all by your lonesome? Your own child shouldn't have to strike you down. Mm, how heroic of you. I'm glad we have this chance to talk, Vale. From what I've heard, you are the little sister of my dear child. If that is the case, I am practically your mother as well. You are welcome to call me your mother, should it please you. Thank you for the kind offer. But I don't need a second mother in my life. I had one. Oh, departed is she. Tell me, what was she like? She was kind and affectionate. And there was so much love within her. But she died before I could truly appreciate what I had. She always did the best she could to keep me safe. And she told me that if Papa ever broke free, if he did, and if he started doing terrible things, as his family, I had to find a way to stop him. I suppose that means you intend to murder me yet again. Yes. <laughs> How I tremble at the memory of that fatal blow, the pain. Even worse than the pain, though, how you left my heart shattered. 
I was torn from the side of my beloved child. Can you imagine the depths of my agony? And had it not been for you, my dearest and I would have been together for all time. I know it's my fault. The fact that you died. All of this. Even though I was a puppet, I killed you. I stole the rings. My actions led to this. You can hate me all you want. But either way... It ends here! <sighs> oh, Vale. Was that meant to hurt? As I'm sure you have noticed, thanks to Lord Sombron's largesse, I am far more powerful now than I was before. It's a shame, really. I honestly hope that you and I could get along. But anyone standing between me and my child cannot be suffered to live. It's ludicrous to think you might murder me for a second time. How are you so blind? I still owe you a death for the first one. Die, you little defect! <laughs> Vail! Brother! Thank goodness you're all right. The door should have been blocked. How? Well, we broke through. <laughs> oh, my child. Did you miss your mother so badly? I did. Not a day has passed that I didn't think of you. That's why I'm angry to see you like this. Hasn't Sombron ruined enough? Why do you speak ill of Lord Sombron? It was he who brought us together again. Lord Sombron? You are lost, aren't you? Oh, I was. During the war a thousand years ago, I was desolate, lonely. I had no one. My mother, father, friends, killed. Yet I had to fight on, alone, if I... The Divine Dragon gave up or ran away. The world would be lost. In the midst of all that hurt, I found you innocent and pure, no evil intentions of your own, and never treated with love. Though you were my enemy, I couldn't bring myself to kill you. Instead, I bonded with you the day we first met. I stopped being alone. Mother... I beg you, don't leave me on my own again. Stay here with me. No, I can't do that. The last time we spoke, you told me to fight on with divinity. Told me to bring peace to the world, no matter what memories returned. Don't you remember, Mother? Who cares what I said before? Now I want to be together, as family. I understand now. You don't think like my mother. You don't want what she wanted. You're speaking nonsense. I'm right here. I am your mother. No. My mother? The one I wanted to see again? The one I loved? She's gone. And she would want me to defeat you. She taught me to stand strong against my every opponent, whoever they might be. How sad your words make me. You're breaking my heart right now. Who poisoned you against me? The emblems? The stewards? That sister of yours? I suppose I have no choice but to kill them all. Prepare for battle. I'm sorry. I meant to fight this battle for you. Thank you, Vale. But this isn't your burden to carry. It's mine. If I don't face this myself, I can't claim to be the Divine Dragon, an emblem, or Mother's Child. Let's do this. Together. Then, we can face Sombron at last. Brother, you're crying. Everyone, at the ready. We will free Mother's soul and break the final shard! I'm so sorry, Mother. <sighs> that voice... Is it you, my child? <gasps> it would seem that you've received my ring at last. Mother! You're yourself again! 
You remembered the promise that I made to you? Yes. Every word you said to me before I fell asleep. You see this? I'm one of the emblems now. My child, an emblem. I can hardly believe my own eyes. Oh, how hard you must have worked to achieve such a thing. It was tough, but I'm glad I can show you what I've become. I just wanted to make you proud. Uh, it looks like Queen Lumera is... disappearing. The corruption is leaving her body, so now she has to go. Nothing can be done to stop it. I'm so sorry, Mother. It seems we have to part yet again. You're wrong. From the first moment that we connected, I have always been at your side. The years after I lost my family were a dark time. The pain of what had been taken was unbearable. But then I met you. And even though I missed you during your long slumber, I knew that you would wake up someday. We'd be together again. Knowing that, how could I ever feel lonely? You and I will... Never be apart again. I feel the same ever since we met. I've never felt truly alone, not really. You showed me the warmth of a real connection, and that is stronger than death. You have always been my bright, shining light. I can never thank you enough for being my child. Thank you, Mother. Getting to be your child is my greatest happiness. If we should meet again, I want to spend more time with you. Pinky, promise me. We will, child. I'll remember this promise we have made. And I'll remember you. <sighs> the sky is so beautiful above me. Just like... The one I saw the day you opened your eyes again. From now on, you must protect it all. Everything. Under this beautiful sky. I promise. <sighs> Brother, I... I'm all right. Please, don't be sad for me. Mother is... is where she belongs now. I know we'll meet again. <sighs> it's time to go. We have to check the barrier. The barrier is vanishing. We destroyed it at last. But look what's happened to the sky. Sombron opened the portal. Papa, he's there. If this goes on, the power of other worlds will pour through, and this one will be destroyed. Elios will meet its end. No, I won't let that happen. My mother entrusted this world to me. I will protect everyone. Everyone who lives beneath this sky. Hmm. <laughs> I have no doubt. That a world ruled by you would be a beautiful place. What brought that on? It needed saying. I'll need you to help build that world, Marth. Help me protect it. Forever. Hmm. Forever. It's a promise, then. A world ruled by the Divine Dragon. Now that's an inspiring thought. Everyone, how did our forces fare? We are treating our wounded and should be able to leave soon. You stand before the final battle, undaunted, full of hope. I've much to learn from you. When this war is over and we've had time to rebuild, I'm gonna visit all your countries. Bring the emblems along. After so much time confined to the rings, I'm sure they'd like to see the world. Right. Now that the Twelve Rings' power has been used, people won't try to steal them. The emblems will be safe. They can stay summoned and go wherever they want. I'll show them our countries, 
Introduce them to our citizens. They'll be seen as war heroes. I won't say no to a new camping buddy. Oh, make that too. Hope they like to sing. I imagine their experience will make them good advisors for restoring Lucia. It's nice, isn't it? Having something to look forward to? Something to fight for? For the first time in my life? I'm excited for the future. Before we reach that future, we'll have to face Sombron. Are you ready for that, Vale? I am. I'm not afraid to stand up to him. I was so lonely. I couldn't admit it, but... He stopped being my father long ago. There's no bond left to break. Vale. Divine One, our wounded soldiers have been treated, one and all. Thank you, Vander. Let's depart, everyone. The final battle is upon us at last. <sighs> this journey has made you and your allies so much stronger. I wish I could stay here and help you all build a peaceful world. But we may soon have to part ways.